We're very glad to welcome you tonight to what we think is going to be a very important conversation. We venture forth in a conversation like this, always knowing that this kind of a conversation has a long history, and it's a history that's complicated, it's fraught with all kinds of challenges and issues in understanding, in agreement, and in uh, simple human communication. But it's also because we're touching really in a conversation like this on some of the things that are the most profound parts of what it means to be human and to be people who express our commitment to first order priorities, whatever our particular religious and worldview might be. It's incredibly important that in a world like the one that we are living in, that this kind of conversation happen and that it happen not just in a group like this, but that it spill over into uh, relationships and friendships that go deep and wide in all kinds of contexts where exactly uh, this sort of exchange at an even more personal level needs to occur. I remember just as a benchmark to me of how radically this kind of conversation context has changed. I remember reading Madeleine Albright's uh, autobiography after she had served as Secretary of State. And in that uh, autobiography, she makes the comment that in her first three decades as a diplomat, she had been groomed never, ever, ever to raise any issue of religion. She said it was part of the fundamental task of being a diplomat for the United States government that you would never speak about religion. And yet, she says in retrospect, looking back, how could it possibly be that I could think that I was being a diplomat in a world that didn't take religion seriously and seriously engage conversations around issues of faith and religion? We need to understand one another. Christians and Muslims need to understand one another. And we all know that certainly since the time of the turning of the millennium and all the events that have happened since that time, there's just been so many additional reasons that the public conversation about Christianity and Islam has garnered all kinds of attention. Some of it uh, has been helpful, but the vast majority of it, in my view, has largely been about stereotyping and insult and even war, rather than actually mutual understanding in peace and respect and justice. 